Hi everyone, Blake Jones here, and in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the process of how to run Resolve in the cloud. There are currently many different cloud computing suppliers on the internet, and in this case we're going to be using the Shadow Tech cloud computing platform. And this works extremely well. Um, they supply you with a app that you actually install on your computer. It runs on Mac or Windows or even Linux. It also uh, runs even on tablet computers as well. And so for example, as you can see here, this is the app as it's once it's ready. And then we just click on the start button and then we can optimize our Wi-Fi connection and then it will start for us. Okay, so once the um, cloud computing has been activated, you'll be greeted with a desktop that looks like this. It looks just like a standard Windows desktop, even though that I'm wor working with Mac OS. And so, for example, as you can see here, I've got my uh, start menu and I've got uh, everything like this about this computer. And I can see here, I can see what I, if everything that's available on the drive. So I've, what I've done here is actually configured a Google Drive uh, and it reacts just like another drive on the system. And so for example, what I've done then is uh, since you're a cloud computing, you can actually go through, launch a browser, download whatever applications. For example, in this case, I downloaded Resolve and I also um, put all my Google Apps in there, and I even did my interface with Frame.io, and everything is in there. So for example, now if I want to just start Resolve here, I can do this directly in the cloud. As you can see, I've installed uh, Resolve Studio uh, 17 Public Beta, and it starts very quickly. And then we're going to look at the preferences so you can actually see the hardware. Now, for example, in a lot of the cloud computing uh, services, you have the opportunity to configure your hardware that's going to be used. And so, for example, here, say if I start a new project, I can come up to the top here and then I can select my preferences. And then you can actually see here, um, memory GPU, you can change this, you can actually add more if you want to, and then it shows me here that I'm using a Quadro uh, NVIDIA P5000 graphic card, and um, there are some providers who will provide you with Tesla graphic cards as well, and then there are, um, for example, in, with, in the case with Shadow uh, Tech, they actually uh, depending on which subscription you take, you can get different levels of computing power if you need a more powerful computer, for example. But to give you an idea of how this works, we can come over here. So now I have my project manager. And then I can come into my project to open it up. And there we have it. We're all there. And then I can even come over here, change my timeline, come back to timeline one here and start this up. And as you can see, we have full speed playback, no problems there. And what's beautiful here too, is if I come back to my media uh, page, and as you can see here, I've got my frame IO interface and I can then access directly from that. And here, let's come to like so. And as you can see here, I'm playing back directly from Frame.io. Or I can even come up to my Google Drive. In this case, for example, I've selected a Blackmagic RAW file, and then I can go through and play that, it's like so, or even here. So we have very good playback from all the storages that are mounted. 
And then we can also come to our deliver page. And then if I want to, I can then render back to frame IO. So as you can see, it gives you a tremendous amount of power and you have all your functionality here. And so as you can see here, I've got all my primary color correction here, everything like that. So it's all very, and w the beauty of this is that, so if your computer is not totally up to spec for running a heavy duty resolve project, you can do it with cloud computing and it works perfectly and it works really, really well. And the only thing you have to make sure is that you have a good, fast internet connection. And with that, you're all set to go. So for more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Think about subscribing to my Patreon channel. There's a lot of great perks in there. And also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And subscribe so you can see all my new videos, because I'm going to do a lot more for Resolve 17 functionality. Also, there's going to be in the comments below, there's a link to Shadow Tech, so you can have a look at that there as well. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot.